this uh, example problem number four from section 9.5 is actually pretty interesting. Um, so let's get to it. Which ratios are equal to the square root of two over two? Select all and apply. And these are your options. Now, this is the, the triangle they gave us. First thing I should notice is that it has a 45 degrees in there. 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, okay? So we can use the 45 degree, 45, 90 degree triangle theorem, which is, um, the theorem says that the hypotenuse is the length of the sides times the square root of two. So we can find the length of the legs, which is nine over the square root of two. How did I get that? Well, if this times the square root of two equals nine, they cancel out, right? So they equal nine. So nine over the square root of two is the length of the sides. All right. Now let's let's just go from the first one. Sine A. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. If I take the sine of this way or this way, it's going to be the same. Okay? So sine will be sine A and sine B. I'm just going to write both like there. Sine A and sine B are going to have the same thing, same ratio, which is opposite 9 over square root 2 over hypotenuse 9, which comes out to be 1 over the square root of 2. Okay? If you don't know how to do fractions over fractions, let's say you have a fraction in the top and just a plain number in the bottom. If I were to divide or put a invisible one there, right? Nine over any number or any number over one is that number. So nine over one is still nine. I haven't changed anything. Now when you multiply these, it's the same as going uh, nine times the one and the nine times so 9 times the 1, and the square root of 2 times the 9, and that comes out to be, let me show you, that will come out to be 9 over the 9 square root 2. And 9 over 9 is 1. So 1 over square root of 2. All right? But we don't want square root of 2 in the denominator. It has to be in the numerator. So I have to multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, which is 1 technically. And that's going to come out to, I'm running out of room here. That's going to come out to be the square root of 2 over 2. This is what I was looking for. So sine A sine B, all work, okay? And I got a little battery. Now let's look at cosine. Cosine A is, here's A, adjacent, so over hypotenuse. Cosine B, adjacent over hypotenuse. They are the same. So that's going to be 9 square root of 2. And just like, oh, and over 9, the hypotenuse. That's exactly like this. So we know that that's going to come out to be 1 over square root of 2, which is going to be square root of 2 over 2. Same answer. So, cosine A, cosine B are all part of it. Now let's look at 
tangent. Um, I'm going to erase right here. Tangent is opposite over hypotenuse. So tangent A is not opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, which is 9 square root of 2 over 9 square root of 2. Tangent B, same thing. Same thing as tangent B. And that comes out to be 1. And 1 does not equal it. So not tangent A or tangent B. I like that problem. That was a good one.